Welcome back to Sailing Shark. There is a big news in maritime industry that a tanker ship named Advantage Suite has been seized by Iran with 24 Indian crew on board. Iran released footage of commando raid on U.S. bound tanker vessel. 24 Indian crew members stuck on U.S. bound oil tanker seized by Iranian Navy. The vessel was carrying Kuwaiti oil for American energy firm based in California. Tehran calls for us outstir from Iraq amid Gulf of Oman tensions. Biden urged to step up seizures of Iranian oil assets. Iran's Navy conducted a raid and seized a U.S.-bound oil tanker in Gulf of Oman on the 27th of April. Tehran says the Turkish-managed, Chinese-owned vessel at Naftij Suite was seized over it running into another Iranian boat. Iran said that the U.S.-bound tanker colloided with an Iranian boat, injuring several crew members and tried to flee. A Marshall Islands-flagged oil tanker was seized by the Iranian Army's naval forces in the Persian Gulf after it collided with an Iranian boat in Gulf of Oman. However, Iran has provided no evidence yet to support the claim, releasing only the footage of the raid. The U.S. Navy said the Iranian seizure was at least the fifth commercial vessel taken by Tehran in the last two years. The seizure comes after the U.S. ordered an Iranian tanker to redirect towards the U.S. which was destined for China. Iran's actions are contrary to international law and disruptive to regional security and stability. The Iranian government should immediately release the oil tanker. Iran's continued harassment of vessels and interference with navigational right in regional waters are a threat to maritime security and the global economy. In the past two years, Iran has unlawfully seized at least five commercial vessels sailing in the Middle East. Satellite tracking data for the vessel from MarineTraffic.com showed the tanker in the Gulf of Oman just north of Oman's capital, Muscat. The tanker vessel had just come from Kuwait and en route to Houston. Texas and U.S. The seizure comes after the U.S. ordered an Iranian tanker to redirect towards the U.S. which was destined for China. The waters where the ship was seized, near the Straits of Hormuz, are a choke point for at least a third of the world's seaborne oil. Meanwhile, Iran's Ayatollah Khamenei decried the presence of the U.S. military in Iraq during a meeting with Iraqi President Abdel Latif Rashid. Khamenei told Rashid that the presence of even one American in Iraq is too much. The Iranian supreme leader said Americans are not friend with anyone and are not even loyal to their European allies.